My name is Jessica Walker, and I'm an artist. I loved art class. I didn't think I was gonna be some sort of like artist in the world. I just knew that I loved art class. Um, I think I started with my art teacher in like eighth grade. I forgot her name, but uh, we had to do like a self portrait and she put it up in the hallway so everybody could see it. And I think maybe then is when I knew that I could draw. Um, and then there was Ms. Warwick in high school, shout out to you, um, who put my work in the mall. Like, you know how there's the kiosk in the mall that has the local high school kids art. I drew a swan, <laughs> I think it was charcoal, and she had it in the mall for me. Um, but still, I didn't think I was going to be some sort of artist. Uh, I just loved art. It was relaxing. It allowed me to be creative. So I did go to college. North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University. However, I didn't graduate. I started off as an AutoCAD major. Um, computer aided drafting and design. And... I just completely wasn't interested, honestly. I did it because I was trying to do something that I knew would make money. But when I did it, I was like, this is whack. And I switched my major like from one semester to the next. It was a matter of like two days. I went, had this paper signed and this paper signed, and then I was a fashion major. But I feel like by the time I got to the fashion department, I was no longer interested in school in general. So I left. School was stressful. I just left. But I think everything happens the way that it's supposed to. Everything happens for a reason because I never drew. Like I wasn't drawing, I wasn't painting, I wasn't creating while I was in school. So I think I had to leave school to experience life a little bit, get inspired. And then it was like, my back was up against the wall a little bit to the point where the only thing I had to turn to was art. And then it just kind of went from there. I went from just painting a little bit to decorating my apartment to now look at me. <laughs> I'm an artist. Uh, sometimes I could be at work or I could be talking to someone, I could be watching TV or, or something and it just sparks an idea. And then the way that my mind works, I just run with it and keep building with it and building with it and building with it. And sometimes, because I don't wanna forget it, I will get like a little scratch piece of paper and scribble it down. And it might look like some bullshit, <laughs> but I scribble it down so that I know how I want it to look and then I just come in the studio and I lay it down. Sometimes I can lay it down in a day or so and sometimes I actually have to sit with it because how I think about it and how I see it today might be different than how I see it two months from now and I might build on it in a way that I never thought of before. So really it's really random how I create in that whole process. So I mean and sometimes I create when like I'm frustrated about things in life in general, I could just bottle up all that frustration and just put it on the canvas. And then sometimes I just feel like I need to, like I have to create or I won't feel right. It's like I have to do it in order to survive. Uh, I go through periods in time where I'm just not inspired um, by anything, even if I try. Like, if I force myself to paint, if I force myself to create when I'm not inspired, it'll come out co the complete opposite of what I want. It'll be some BS, honestly. So I've gotten to a place where I allow myself the times of not painting, the times of just not being inspired. Now, I've 
plenty of work that just came out like trash <laughs> that I'm not, that will never see the light of the day, like ever. Um, and that's because I tried to create from an uninspired space. Sometimes it just don't work out, honestly. Um, I think my favorite painting that I've done recently would be the scorpion. That's the one with all the arms, the one sitting right here. Um, one, because it took me so long to do, not because it just literally took me that long, but because I took lots of breaks. Um, I got uninspired, I was re-inspired and uninspired over and over and over again. And I, I felt like it had to happen that way so that it could be what I needed it to be. And as far as what I needed it to be, it's like a, a representation of how I see myself on the inside. Like a, some crazy goddess, bad chick, with all these arms, doing all these things. Like that's how I see myself on the inside. So I had to take the time to do it, to finish it, to, before I could present it to the world so that it would come out right. I used to think that you needed to live in a certain city to make it. Um, I don't feel that way anymore. I think with the days of the internet and going viral and social media, all of that, you could become successful at art anywhere. You could be in some small dirt road town, but as long as you have the internet, you can do whatever you want to do, whether it's art or whatever. Like I want to be with the greats, like how you see the Mona Lisa in textbooks and you see Picasso's work in museums and things like that. I want to be in those same spaces. Now, if someone's coming to you, they have an idea of what they want, but they don't really know what they want. So I listen to them and then I start to kind of run with their idea. And not everybody's an artist, or not everybody sinks like an artist. So they come to you for your eye, for your expertise, for your vision. So when someone brings me an idea, I usually run a thousand different directions with it. And I'm like, okay, well, let's try this. What do you think about this? And sometimes I don't ask them because people don't really know what they want until you present it to them and tell them or show them what it is that they want or what they need. I've had a lot of experiences where I've been presented with ideas and I'm like, okay, well, let's try this. Or they tell me something and then I paint something completely different and they're like, that's actually exactly what I wanted because people don't really know <laughs> what they want for real. So I tell them. I think what it was that made me say, I can do this. Like I can really do art, like full time and that be my career, is the desire for more. Because when you start to work a full time job, when you're in corporate America, life becomes very routine. Where, you know, you get up, you go to work, then you're at work, the people that you don't like, and then you go home, and then you go to sleep, and you do it all over again. When life is too routine like that, and then one year goes by, another year goes by, another year goes by, and then life starts to look exactly the same every single year. At some point, it's like I woke up and was like, I gotta get out. <laughs> I gotta stop doing this because it's driving me crazy. So I turned to what I had and that was art. And art gave me the confidence to feel like I can do more. That I don't have to be put in a box. I don't have to be like that girl who goes to work and 
works until she retires and then enjoys life after the fact. Art, let me know that you can do it. Like you can be whatever you want. You can go wherever you want and I'm gonna take you there. That's art speaking. At any age, anybody can do whatever they want to do. You do not have to settle for a life that isn't you. I think the way that society is designed, it's like college or military, then get a family, get your white picket fence, get your dog, retire, have some grandkids, and then vacation with your husband after your kids go off to college. And that works for some people, but not everybody fits into that box. And for those of you who don't fit into that box, get out of it. That's, it's just as simple as that. Get out of it. You only live once, life is short. You don't really know what tomorrow holds. So do what you can today. Do what you want to do today. You can find my art at jessicaryanwalker.com or you can find me on Instagram at jessicaryanwalker.com.